can read, I can read, I can write, I can write, I can type, whatever I say, yes. The wonderful thing about Read Write Type is that it's a fully integrated package that uh, gives the children practice in reading, writing, spelling, and phonics. It rolls all these things together. Type cat. And then almost transparently, they're learning to touch type. And that's through the association of the phonic sounds of the letters with a movement of their fingers on the keyboard. The beautiful thing about software is that you can give children immediate feedback. So if they don't know how to spell a word, it will say k. And then it will sh the hands will show the children where to type the k on the keyboard. So they're getting help to finish the word all the way through the program. Type fat, 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 cat. Fat, fat, cat. <laughs> I sat with my daughter when we were doing Read, Write, and Type, and it was nice to spend time with her at the computer. They're all going to be using computers in the future. That's, uh, that's the way kids are going to write. So I think for them to learn to think and spell and read and write all at the same time while having fun is, is perfect. You got a perfect score. Oh, I won a game. We use it uh, with all of our students, but we mainly focus on using it with our ESL students. It has helped them to recognize objects. Mask. Lamp. Lemon. If you are a person of another culture, not knowing the names of things of the English language, just looking at pictures is great for development. Vase. Violin. And I think that what's so wonderful about Read, Write, and Type is that it's kind of like a game. You're trying to save these letters, and the students get so involved in it, and that has been really nice to see. I have some kids who are reading, who can read in Spanish and in English, and then there are others who are struggling with the alphabet. And so with the computer, in, in particular that program, they can go at their own speed and they can get as far, you know, as, far as they can and then they can go back and practice. Necesito. No sabes cómo. And it provides them a way to learn the sounds of the English language, which is what they were kind of learning at this point. F fish. That ends with V. Type V. Five. In this case, they have a finger that goes with each letter, or sometimes, you know, more than one letter. Good job, zebra. Good job, zebra. Uh, uh. Zebra. Good job. There's this tribe of storytellers who live inside your computer. And they live in two houses, one for the left hand, one for the right hand. One is yellow, one is blue. You never put your blue hand in your yellow house. Thanks to funding from the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development, Read, Write, and Type has an assessment component and extensive voiceover help in nine languages. The Spaceship Challenge assessment games at the end of each level of Read, Write, and Type monitor progress, provide extra instruction and other prescriptive help. Spaceship Challenge finds the children who are struggling and automatically sends them back to activities they need to practice. There are 26 letters in the alphabet, but there are actually 40 sounds in English. And that's all. Um, so if you learn to identify those sounds and then attach a letter to them, you can write anything you can say. Being able to write the letters on the keyboard, they've got the whole world at their fingertips.